My name is Warren Carter. I'm the author of a new book called Telling Tales About Jesus, an Introduction to the New Testament Gospels. The book is published by Fortress Press. In this book, I want to help readers to read the Gospels well. I've heard in classrooms many times from students that they know how not to read the Gospels. They know that the Gospels are not eyewitness accounts. They know they're not a day in the life of diary moments. Uh, they know they're not those sorts of things, and they know not to read expecting eyewitness accounts. But how to read, how to read well, how to read in a way that engages the vibrancy and the depth and the richness of these New Testament Gospels. So in this book, I set about answering that question, both in terms of content that we have in the Gospels, but also particularly in relation to the questions that we ask about the Gospels, the methods that we employ to help us engage them well. I begin in the first couple of chapters by positioning the Gospels and positioning ourselves as readers, paying attention to the genre of the Gospels. What can we expect from them? and highlighting that distinctiveness by dating them uh, late in the first century, considerable period of time after the ministry of Jesus, and looking at what has happened to stories about Jesus, to accounts of Jesus' teaching in the years before the Gospels are actually written. Then in the rest of the book, I take two chapters and to, to discuss each of the Gospels in turn. In the first of those chapters, I look at the particular plot or tale that the Gospel tells about Jesus. What are its distinctive features? What is, is its distinctive shaping of that story? And then in the second of the two chapters, I look at something important or particular about that particular Gospel. So with Mark, I ask the question, how might this gospel have functioned for folks who were followers of Jesus living in a large city such as Rome? How might it have helped them in their discipleship? What meanings might they have made from it? In Matthew's gospel, I ask the question, how has Matthew shaped this particular gospel? How has he made it different from Mark's gospel to address some different circumstances? How has he edited it or redacted it like a story sermon to address particular circumstances. In Luke's Gospel, I take up the theme of the kingdom or the reign or the rule or the empire of God and look at how the Gospel develops that theme, especially in relation to matters of social class, of ethnicity, of gender, of the other big empire in the ancient world, the Roman Empire, and in relation to the non-human world. And in John's Gospel, in the second chapter, I look at the way that John borrows a, a paradigm or a pattern of spirituality from the Hebrew Bible, a pattern that we know as wisdom literature. That John takes this paradigm, this understanding of wisdom, and says Jesus is wisdom, and plays out the paradigm across the telling of the story of Jesus. So we see the author of John's Gospel using this Hebrew Bible pattern to make sense of the significance of Jesus. So in this way, I want to help readers to read the Gospels well, to understand something of the depth of content, to, to understand something of the vibrancy and vitality of these stories, but also to understand good questions that readers might ask that take us into the Gospel material. The book is called Telling Tales About Jesus, an Introduction to the New Testament Gospels. It's published by Fortress Press. The author is Warren Carter. Thank you for watching and enjoying.